what we were talking about is uh, one of the security issues that a lot of people have talked about with Windows is how much does it talk to? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Wireshark on Windows. Just downloaded it from Wireshark.org. You know, big deal. You know, it's pretty much so the standard thing. It, you go through and you install like you would any other software. Everybody agrees to everything. No biggie. Actually, I would do want to install the desktop icon. So before I start going and flipping too hard, I should probably read that. And then just kind of let it do its own thing. So again, simple install. It's just pretty much so flat. But I do want that desktop thing on this because one of the things that everyone's been talking about is uh, all the issues with how many people and other stuff does uh, does Office actually or Windows 10 actually talk to. Uh, lots of things in the security community about this, so which actually really kind of humors me in terms of how we are going to look at Windows 10 either as something that we want to use or something we don't want to use. Um, personally, I don't generally try to use Windows on a regular basis. Um, I've found other systems to be a lot more relaxing. So, But it's a good way to learn how to install Windows PCAP on a Windows 10 box. Just kind of let it do its thing and then we're done. And then it extracts, does all of its bit. and That's installing Wireshark on a Windows 10 box. At least as soon as it's done doing its thing. Um, and then we'll come back. But again, we're going to be kind of stringing this together as we kind of go through it. But hey, installing Wireshark on a Windows 10 box, not a big deal. Pretty good and straightforward in terms of how it's actually going to go. This is actually on a virtual box, so we're in pretty good shape here. No, no big issues um, to kind of go through. I tend to virtualize everything. <laughs> so as soon as it's done, we'll go ahead and then it's complete and we go next and then we go finish. So that's it. So that's when Wireshark actually installed and then we can bring it up. And then it goes through. Uh, software update, of course. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and remind me later on this one. So what we want to do, we'll go into the next bit, how to actually use Wireshark.